Okay, we're rolling. Rolling. Rolling on the road. And to cue the garbage truck. Must be Monday. Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm excited that you're here today. Today we are going to be talking about something delicious. This. This has become one of my mascots in the kitchen. Do you guys know what this is? This is, let me see if we're closer. This is a giant cinnamon stick. Yes, cinnamon is a bark of a tree. And today, God, every time I touch it, it smells so good. Today we are going to make cinnamon rolls from scratch. This is a yeast bread. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but it's definitely worth it. If you've ever had a yeast roll with cinnamon, you know what I'm talking about. It's not that hard to make. So I challenge you guys to try to make this, especially if you've never done it before. Uh, it's just a matter of putting the, the flour, putting the yeast, putting some other ingredients, letting it rise, rolling it out, putting the good stuff in and popping the oven. It's not that hard and I think you can do it. So let's get started. If you guys have any questions, of course, go to the comments. Thanks. Okay, you guys, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself a half a cup of warm water. Looks like this. You're then gonna take some yeast, it comes like this. We're just gonna use one packet. So I'm gonna cut this, one packet, shake it down, cut the top off. And we're just gonna put the yeast in the cup. And then, I just give it a little stir. You can see it's kind of, it's got kind of little balls in there. As it starts to bloom, that's the name for it, bloom. As it mixes with the water and starts to grow, it's gonna get really creamy. Okay, so we're just gonna set this aside. Today we are using the big guy, and we're going to use the dough hook. We haven't used the dough hook yet before, so this is the first recipe. What this is, is it's just an attachment that goes on here. That instead of the paddle giving a mix, this is going to get a lighter mix, and as the dough forms, it's going to be heavier, and so this can cut through the dough. So let's give that a try. Okay, so to this, we're going to add one half cup of scalded milk. Scalded milk means that it is uh, brought up to temperature to kill any bacteria and stuff like that. So warm milk goes in there. Now we're going to need some butter. Today we're just using plain old US grade AA real butter. Here's the butter. All I did is pop it in the microwave for a couple seconds to make it melted. That goes in here. Butter. Ding. A quarter cup of sugar to feed the yeast. One teaspoon of salt to make it taste as good. One egg from a chicken's butt. And then we have our yeast. Look how creamy, creamy goodness. That's what we're looking for. That means that the yeast has started to grow and it's mixed into the water well. So that goes in there as well. So basically, it looks like this. Exciting, huh? So now we're going to add, we have four cups of flour but well, we're going to add about half of it right now. And then we're going to start the mixing process and then we'll add the other half. This is so that it mixes and gets all the lumps out with the liquid first. I'll see. Let's see if I can show you guys. Now I'm going to show you. Started to mix. It's kind of very, very loose. It's uh, liquidy. And now we're going to put the other powder of flour in. Now, of course, you can totally do this by hand. Just use a wooden spoon or whatever you got. Mix it up. But I'm not that adventurous today. All right, we'll put the rest of our flour. Then we'll just let this go for a minute or two. As you can see, the dough is starting to come together. And the dough hook, this is where it gets to work its magic. 
bring them together. Yeah. Now, if you're doing this by hand, you want to knead it for about 10 minutes. If you're doing it by the hook, probably three to five. You just want to make sure there's no lumps and everything is mixed together. Okay, so after about five minutes of kneading, or 10 minutes by hand, this is the dough we get. You can see it's nice and soft. And I can tell you, it smells good. Okay, we are, we are now gonna take a bowl and we're gonna put some butter in here, just a little bit, with my fingers. Just a rub around in the bowl. Because we're gonna put the dough in here and we just don't want it to stick to the bowl. It's going to stay in here for about an hour and a half and it's going to rise. It's gonna develop the gluten, which is the protein that's in there. Sorry, gluten freeze, this is not for you. Just mix some of the butter around here. Okay, bowl. And we're gonna take our dough, which, look at that. How good does that look? Just gonna make it into a nice ball. And then, boop! Now I'm gonna put a towel over it. I'm gonna set it in a nice warm place and it's gonna be sitting there for about an hour, hour and a half. It should double in size. So this thing should be pretty full when we're ready. So let's let that sit. Okay, while our dough is rising, we can do a couple different things. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take about three quarters of a cup of white sugar to our sugar, we're going to add two to three teaspoons of sugar, I mean, cinnamon. We're gonna add two to three teaspoons of cinnamon depending on how you like it. So let's see, there's one, there's two, maybe two and a half for me. All right, so this is pre-ground. And then we're just gonna stir this up. You guys can see that, it's just cinnamon and sugar. Make sure we get the lumps out. And that's what it looks like. What country are you in? Do you use cinnamon? We have our big glass pan. And again, don't be afraid to use your hands. Take a big dollop of butter. And we're gonna smear this around the pan. Smear all over the bun. Get the sides. We're gonna cut the, the buns in here, the rolls. And what we're gonna do with the butter is we're gonna put a little bit of butter and we're gonna put some sugar so that the rolls will come out and not be sticking. You see that? Butter. Okay, once our pan is buttered, I have some uh, cinnamon sugar that I had uh, laying around the house, so um, it's a little bit older. I just wanted to make sure I use it up. So that's what this is. I'm gonna put some in here, and then I'm gonna shake it around. Look at that. This is actually cinnamon I ground myself, so it's a little bit, a little bit chunkier. If you can see, it's a little bit speckly. So this is what it looks like, just buttered and sugared, and that'll be ready for when we have our rolls. Okay, so apparently we had a camera malfunction. Here's where we're at. We took the dough from that was in the bowl, doubled in size, threw it on the board, and now we're just rolling it out. We're gonna make it about 10 by 15. I'm just gonna roll this out like this. Okay. Then we're gonna take our butter, a half a cup of butter, so about that much. You can melt it, you can use a brush. I'm just using a spatula because I find it just as easy. It doesn't really need to be melted. We're just going to spread it around here. Nice and even. We're going to do this just to make sure your butter is soft. Look at that. Perfection. Okay. Then we've got our cinnamon sugar. Remember this? And we're just going to sprinkle this all over here. And then we're just going to start at the short end, and we're going to make a nice roll. Try to make it kind of, not, not too tight, tight enough. Try to stretch it a little bit, maybe. Try to make it, try to make it even. Try to make it even from the middle to the ends. Then we're just going to cut it into 12 pieces, so in half. If it's not exact, it doesn't really matter. We have our pan, and then we're just gonna start from one end and put about four across and three down. And try not to make them too crowded because they are gonna expand a little bit. All right, 
There we go. And into the oven for about a half an hour. While they are cooking, we are going to make glaze. So in here I have two cups of powdered sugar. I also have four tablespoons of butter and a little bit of water in here. I just microwaved it to make it warm. And we're just going to pour almost all of this in here to start with. And see where we are. And I think we can take it off. Mug that in here. And then a little, about a half a teaspoon of vanilla just to give it some flavor. And then just mix this up. Now when they come out, we might have to give this a little warming. It'll be no, not a problem. It's just a nice flavored glaze. Look what time it is. Golden brown and delicious, or as we say, GBD. All right, and hot as heck. There you guys go. Check those out. Now comes the goody part. So remember our glaze, lovely glaze. It's nice and smooth now. I'm hearing from a peanut gallery, leave one off. Okay. So just put our glaze on each one. Do you want a middle or a side? No. Okay, middle, no, no, no glaze. Can you guys hear that? It's sizzling in the pan. In case you're wondering what's going on, who's behind the scenes, my parents are here with bated breath, waiting, waiting for this. For hours and hours. For hours and hours, Mom says. All right, you guys. Look at that. If you're wondering why the glaze is brown, it's because it has lots of vanilla in it. And voila. This is happening. And this is happening. The coffee is a brewing. This is almost like a holiday. It is like And now you get your holiday plan started. Mmm. I didn't take out any lights in the process. Then we have the high class sexy orange juice. I just want a flavor. I don't want the whole damn thing. There you are. All right. I know you've been waiting for this, so I'm going to sneak one out, take a bite, and then I'm going to serve them to the family. Okay, I'm going to give this a taste. Now the garbage trucks have rolled by. Trying to get a bite here. Mmm, cinnamon roll. Mmm. Mom's loving it. I'm loving it. Mmm. Try this. Phew! How delicious is that? Thanks you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this. I think it is an absolute delicious type of thing to eat. It's very American. So if those around the world, give it a try. See what you think. Uh, love to hear some comments about that. As usual, comment down below. You guys like, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. I'd love to hear from you. Are you having successes? Let me know on the, on the uh, fan page on Facebook. That's Eudaimonious, E-U-D-A-E-M-O-N-I-U-S, Mark II, M-A-R-K, I-I. Take care, guys. Bye.